Dina Hinshaw is a Canadian physician and public health official. Dina was a key figure in guiding Alberta's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. As the chief medical officer at Alberta Health Services, Dina has been a staunch advocate for the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. It comes as no surprise, therefore, that when the WHO declared a pandemic in 2020, Dina, like every other globalist plant across the Western world, disregarded Alberta's emergency management plan and implemented the, the globalist agenda. This is why we have taken the extreme measures we have. Take this seriously. Stay home unless it is essential for you to go out. Now is not the time for social gatherings. Practice social distancing. Words matter. Now, why would our governments, with no scientific basis, why would they force people to physically distance themselves and call it social distancing? Could it be they named it for the outcome they were hoping for? Because if so, it worked. Since 2020, our societies are more divided than ever. Licia Corbella, writing for the Calgary Herald in January 2021, wrote, David Redman, a retired lieutenant colonel with 27 years of experience in the Canadian Armed Forces and the former head of Alberta's Emergency Management Agency, says while every emergency is different, the planning process should always be the same. Governments took every emergency pandemic plan they'd ever written and threw them out the window when COVID arrived, says Redman. No one followed the process. Instead, they panicked, started flying by the seat of their pants and put the doctors in charge. Redmond was so alarmed with Canada's pandemic response. In April, he wrote a three-page letter to Premier Jason Kenney saying, I am genuinely concerned by the government of Alberta response to this pandemic. It appears that we have scrapped the pandemic influenza support plan, started from scratch and decided to ignore all principles of emergency management. Instead of implementing the only legal plan, one which was developed to promote the best interests of all Alberta residents, Dina went rogue and followed globalist dictates. She issued orders to social distance, to mask in public, closed small businesses, prohibited public gatherings, locked the elderly in old age homes, to die alone, and then denied them dignified burials. She denied Albertans access to life-saving medications. There has been an increase in the number of prescriptions for certain antivirals, antibiotics, and antimalarial therapies that have been touted as potential treatments for COVID-19. This is inappropriate. In a time when there are serious concerns about potential shortages of medication, any misuse, stockpiling, or inappropriate prescribing or dispensing should not happen. These behaviors must stop. She falsely proclaimed the safety and efficacy of the vaccines. Both of the vaccines we are using went through a rigorous testing and Health Canada approval process. Was the Pfizer COVID vaccine tested on stopping the transmission of the virus before it entered the market? Um, regarding the question around, um, did we know about stopping humanization before um, it entered the market? No, uh, these, um, you know, we had to really move at the speed of science. And then when the publicly available data clearly indicated that the more vaccines a person had taken, the more likely they were to catch, to be hospitalized by, and to die from COVID-19, she discontinued public access to the data. And finally, I want to talk a bit about vaccine outcomes. So currently we have a very detailed vaccine outcomes tab. So we currently have hospitalizations, ICU admissions and deaths. So what we're going to be doing going forward in the short term, we will be removing the vaccine outcomes tab. The Nuremberg Code is a set of ethical principles for human experimentation established after World War II. It emerged from the Nuremberg trials, which prosecuted Nazi war criminals. The code consists of 10 principles that emphasize the necessity of voluntary consent, the importance of avoiding unnecessary suffering, and the requirement for experiments to yield useful results for society. It also stresses that experiments should be conducted by qualified scientists and that subjects should have the right to withdraw from the study at any time. In the Hinshaw, Nuremberg 2 just wouldn't be the same without you. The fuck you think you're doing?